Let's clean the stove. Okay, we're gonna make some baked beans. Um, so first off, here's my skillet. Used it many a times. It's clean. Then you're gonna take your Oscamar. Then you're gonna take some Oscamar bacon. You're gonna cut it. Cut it into thirds. It's easier to do it what's in the packet. And it's all nice and cut. Should be good. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your skillet on. some bacon. Who doesn't love bacon? Everybody loves bacon. This skillet, oh, I don't know what I'd do without it. And around Thanksgiving, I have three of them going at one time. One to make, of course, this uh, homemade baked beans. One to make sweet potatoes. And one in case I need it, or if something happens to the one. We're just going to fry this up. It's just a regular Oscar We're going to do the whole, the whole way right home. Of course, I'm going to leave some of this for myself, but half of it's going to go in the half of it's going to go in the baked beans. Wash your hands. And we're just going to let this fry. Now for the baked beans, you don't want salt. You need to have it um, well done because it'll soften up a little bit more in the baked beans.
And as this uh, shrinks, we'll go ahead and add some more. And we're going to keep the, the bacon juice. This pan always gets hotter with the this side. I'm not sure why. This side is your polar side. This side got some little thinner. What we're going to do is we're going to get some paper towels and we're going to have to take this out because it's really starting to, to get brown. So you just want to get out your brown pieces, put it on the plate. Get some of that cut. It doesn't get done. Then we're going to stick the rest in. And again, we're going to save this bacon juice. Again, don't have it on high. We'll get too well done too fast. So in my other video, we um, 
we made those chicken wings. Oh, they were gone. That was definitely a good hit. Teriyaki sauce and then the lemon. Um, lemon. Is that McCormick? I love me some McCormick. These look like they're good. Again, if they get too too done, too crisp, it's fine. It'll soften up then. And I'm not going to make a big batch. Because, again, I cannot have it. I think they're good. I'm going to turn the heat off. Always unfold the plug. Just for safety reasons. Because if you forget the one you leave it on, you can burn your house down. We don't want that. And the finished product. Which is good. Let's try a piece. Oh yeah. As I say, oh my god, that's good. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe this stove down again. It's not hot. Okay, so these are the ingredients you're gonna need to make this. This is homemade baked beans. First you have a little onion powder, salt and pepper, about a half a cup of brown sugar, then you have about a third of a cup of molasses. So the brown sugar, <clears throat> I always keep it in a bag because it keeps it fresh. So it doesn't get hard. So see, it's, it's soft. This is grandma's molasses. And this is what makes it taste so good. You're going to need some Campbell's. Nothing but Campbell's pork and beans. I have two jars of those. I have some ballpark beef franks. Probably gonna put maybe five in there. I'm gonna cut them up. And then of course, I have some bacon. And that's about it. So the first thing you always want to do, regardless of what kind of can it is, you always want to wash the top. If you don't know how long it's been sitting there, you don't know if rodents were crawling over it, so please wash your top. Now the key to this is strainer. This is where it's going to collect. So when you open this, what we're going to do is we're going to take the juice out. Now if I need a third, I'll use a third. I think I need a spoon. Sometimes they have a lot of um, juice in them, sometimes they don't. But I'm going to show you the bottom because it's starting to come out.
I'm going to get the rest of this out. Now this juice, we're not going to discard because we're going to see if we're going to need it. And we're just going to put it down in here, see if we can get some of that juice out of it. Because what's going to happen is the molasses and the brown sugar is going to make juice or liquid. So just swirl this around a little bit, get some of that juice out of there. And this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see the juices coming down with them juices in there. You don't need all that. Because what will happen is if you keep them in there, it'll get real runny. And you don't want that. You don't want it to be real pasty as far as the baked beans. But you want to get some of that out of there. So, while that's still draining out, what you're going to do is you're going to put the molasses in here. this out again this is what makes it now if you have a dark brown sugar it's recommended to do the dark brown sugar so then what you'll do is you'll add that to it you'll add the onion powder You'll add some salt and pepper, just a little bit. You don't want too much. So all you gotta do is mix that around. It should get to be like a little bit of a paste, and that's what you want. You want it to be a paste. Because if you need the juice from the beans, you can put them in that. See the paste? The color is absolutely wonderful. The flavor is wonderful. So we're just mixing this in. Now, brown sugar and molasses are like one and the same, but molasses has a different taste to it. So. Okay, see the paste? It's like a paste. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add the beans in. We're going to open up the other can. We're going to throw that in. And then again, if it's too thick, we can use some of that. See how that one was more runny? It just all depends what you're going to get in the can. This meal is very inexpensive, except for the bacon and the hot dogs. But then again, that whole 17 ounces of bacon, I'm not putting in here. See how it's just, it's coming out. It's, one, it's good. So we're going to get a little more of that, put that in there, and it's still draining. Okay, I think that should be good. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put this in here. Now, just go ahead and stir it around. It should have like a brown color to it. And these baked beans are out of this world.
Now the bad thing is I have to taste it. Just to make sure it's correct. See how that got See how it got like runny? So I'm gonna get a spoon. I'm gonna try it. If I need another can of beans because it's too overpowering, I can put that in. If there's not enough molasses, again, it's not too late to add it. All I need to do is just taste a little bit of this. Perfection. Yep, perfect. So that was a half of um, half a cup of brown sugar, a third of a cup of Gremmel's molasses. Okay, now that we have that, so we don't need any more of this juice. But let me show you. Let me show you how much juice this made. See, if you was to pour all that in there, it would have got really liquidy, okay? We don't want that. So we're done with that. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some of this bacon. And you're just gonna dice it up a little bit. You can use a cutting board, but you know what? I'm going to use my fingers. They're clean. Now what this is going to do is this is going to even add more flavor to it. If you can get your hands on some maple bacon, <laughs> that is really good. Okay. Throw a couple more pieces in here. Now I just put that stuff to the side, that sauce, in case this makes it thicken up. I still have some that I can use, so I didn't get rid of it. So we'll stir this in. And it looks like it could use a couple more pieces. Wash my hands, stir that in. See how it's still nice and thick? Okay, now we're going to set this to the back. And we're going to get a couple hot dogs. This is Best Buy, March 31st. Plenty of time. Now this does not have the vacuum seal that I can seal it back up. So we're going to take a couple of these hot dogs. I'm going to start out with four. And we're going to go ahead and just dice them. Maybe about that big. Now these are the beef. Chicken is okay, but my family prefers the beef. Side. Pull this back up. I'm just going to throw these in there. Wash the hands. Stir it in. So 
like I could use one or two more hot dogs. We'll try one. Always washing, wiping my hands. Let's see what that looks like. Now, as this cooks in the microwave, it's going to get a little thicker. So, save that juice. It's very important to save that juice. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put it in here, but you're not going to want to cover it because you want these dogs to plump up. So we're going to put it in the microwave. We're going to try eight minutes. That's 16 beeps. Then I'll wash this up and then I'll show you what it looks like when we come back. Okay. So it is about done. So we're gonna pull it out, give it a stir. See how it dries up a little bit? That's all right, but we need to stir it. Can you see? Yeah. So hope it's still wet. Pretty good. Now we're just going to taste it. Can't taste a lot, but taste two of the beans. Oh, that's amazing. So the hot dogs need just a little more. I'm going to stick that back in. Uncovered. All right, now we're going to stick them back in just for the hot dog's sake. So it looks absolutely wonderful. We're going to throw it back in, probably for another five minutes. And this here, I don't believe we're going to need that whatsoever, but I'm going to place a spoon in there. That way when I go to stir it, I have something I can stir with. Now remember not to throw that grease out. You're going to need that for your keto. So we're going to go ahead and put that on here. Then we're going to store it in the refrigerator. And this is about done in a minute. Not even a minute, a couple seconds. We're going to see what these hot dogs look like. So this is um, what it looks like. And as it cools off, it will get thicker. So if you go ahead and put a little bit of that in there, it's fine. See how it's starting to thicken up. Perfection. I'm going to take a new spoon. I'm going to take one hot dog. And let's take the smaller one. A little bit of beans. Just like that. That's perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and transfer some of this over. Oh, it's hot. Has some nice bacon in it. Has egg, beans, not eggs, but beans. 
And again, this is probably enough for, I don't know, two, three servings. 